Welcome to Digital AP Testing. For some students, taking a Digital AP exam in school is new. So let's learn more about Digital AP exams and the testing experience. This year, AP exams will include digital exams students take on the Blue Book testing app, exams that use other digital technology, and paper exams that require secure audio. 16 AP courses will be fully digital. Students take the entire exam in Blue Book, completing both multiple choice and free response questions. When the exam ends, Blue Book automatically submits their answers. 12 AP Math, Science, and Social Science courses will be hybrid digital. Students complete Section 1 multiple choice questions in Blue Book, and when the exam ends, those answers are automatically submitted. For Section 2, they view free response questions in Blue Book, but handwrite their answers in paper exam booklets. In this video, we will take a close look at the exam experience for the 12 hybrid digital AP exams. Check AP Central for a video about the 16 fully digital AP exams. On exam day, students taking a hybrid digital AP exam will launch Blue Book from their testing device. Blue Book is the same app used by students who take the SAT and PSAT related assessments. For AP testing, Students must remember and manually enter their College Board account information to sign into Blue Book. Saved passwords on their devices will not work. Once logged in, they follow a check-in process and the proctor's instructions to begin the exam. Note, before testing begins, students will be given the paper booklets they will use to answer the free response questions and blank scratch paper. They can use the blank scratch paper during the exam to help them solve multiple choice questions or outline or plan their free response answers. All 12 hybrid digital AP exams consist of two sections. Each section and part are timed separately with a 10 minute break between the sections. For calculus and pre-calculus, both section one and section two are divided into two separately timed parts. So, what does the exam experience look like for a student taking a hybrid digital AP exam? Let's begin with Section 1, Multiple Choice, and use AP Biology as our example. In all hybrid exams, section directions are at the top left of each testing screen. Track your battery usage with the indicator at the top right. A countdown timer displays the time remaining in the section. If you want, you can hide the timer. It will reopen during the last five minutes of the section. You can skip ahead or go back to previous questions in the part or section until time expires. The layout of the screens in Section 1 can vary. For some questions, the stimulus, question prompt, and question choices appear in a single pane. For other questions, the screen is divided into two panes. Stimulus appears on the left and the question prompt and answer choices appear on the right. You can drag the slider to the left or right to adjust the size of each panel. And you can zoom in or out using keyboard shortcuts, Command plus minus or Control plus minus on a computer or laptop, or by pinching and zooming on a tablet or iPad. Within a section, you can mark for review any questions you want to come back to later and use the question menu at the bottom of the screen to navigate to any question in the section. You can highlight and add notes to text in the passage by selecting the text and choosing one of the available colors and underline if you wish. You can also add a note to the text you highlighted. Any notes you leave yourself or on the scratch paper you're provided will not be scored. Click the arrow to hide your note. Click the arrow again to view it. You can eliminate answer choices. Answer. And change your answer to any question in the section until time expires. All 12 hybrid digital AP exams allow the use of calculators. You can use an approved personal or school provided calculator. For these exams, you can also use the Desmos calculator. Desmos calculators, graphing, scientific, and four function are built into Blue Book, and the specific version varies by AP exam. For example, 
for AP Biology, the Desmos Scientific Calculator is built in. Note that in Section 1 for the AP Calculus and AP Precalculus exams, calculator use is limited to Part B. For more information about approved calculators and calculator policies, visit apstudents.org slash calculators. Reference information for the AP Biology, Chemistry, Statistics, and Physics exams is available in Blue Book for both Section 1 and Section 2. To access reference information in Blue Book, click the Reference menu. Then expand the relevant topic. This is the reference information for AP Biology. In addition, the proctor will provide each student taking an AP Biology, Chemistry, Statistics, or Physics exam with a printed copy of the reference information specific to their exam. Click the More menu to access help and additional features, including keyboard shortcuts and information about assistive technology. If you finish the section before time expires, you'll see a review page that shows you any questions you marked for review or left unanswered. Use your remaining time to finish your answers and check your work. When time expires on section one, you'll move on automatically and you won't be able to return to these questions. When section one ends, you will see a break screen and a 10 minute break will begin. Follow the proctor's instructions for leaving your seat. The break screen will remind you not to close your device and to place your Section 2 booklet on top of your desk. And be sure to check the battery indicator before leaving your seat. For hybrid digital AP exams, the Section 2 free response exam experience is different than fully digital exams. In a hybrid digital AP exam, you will view the prompt, the question, and instructions in Blue Book and write your response in a paper, subject-specific free response exam booklet. Your proctor will distribute the exam booklets to you at the beginning of the exam and explain how to complete the front cover. You can view sample free response booklets for each hybrid digital AP exam subject at cb.org slash AP dash digital dash hybrid. Now we'll walk through how you'll follow the prompts and instructions in Blue Book to answer the questions in the Section 2 Free Response Exam Booklet. This time, we will use AP Macroeconomics as our example. All 12 hybrid digital AP exams have a similar free response exam experience. At the end of the 10-minute break, a Section 2 direction screen will appear with important instructions. Carefully read these instructions. They include details that are specific to each AP exam. Click the Resume Testing button when you are ready and the timer for the section will begin counting down. Just like in the multiple choice section, a timer will count down the time remaining in the section. For each question, carefully read the instructions for answering the question in your booklet, the prompt, and the question. Just like in section one, you can resize the blue book on-screen text, flag a question to come back to, highlight and take notes, and use the Next and Previous buttons and Question menu and skip ahead or go back to previous questions in the section. Following the instructions on the Blue Book screen, write your answer or solution in the exam booklet on the appropriate exam booklet page. While writing your answer, be sure to check the timer in the Blue Book screen for the time remaining in the section. If you run out of space in the exam booklet, you can request extra paper. For AP Macroeconomics and AP Microeconomics, the exam experience in Blue Book and the layout of the Free Response section booklet is identical. The Free Response exam experience in Blue Book is very similar for the AP Biology, AP Chemistry, and AP Statistics exams. However, each exam uses course-specific exam booklets that align to the questions. For AP Biology, the pages in the exam booklet indicate which questions should be answered and are lined. And one question will have a blank grid to use for your response. For the AP Chemistry exam, each page in the exam booklet specifies which question should be answered on that page. Write your solution to each part in the space provided for that part. Some questions may have graphics printed in the booklet for you to use in your answer or solution. For the AP Statistics exam, each page in the exam booklet specifies which question should be answered on that page. 
for the AP Calculus AB, BC, and AP Precalculus exams, Section 2 free response is divided into two separately timed parts, Part A and Part B. For all calculus and precalculus exams, calculators are allowed for Section 2 Part A, but prohibited for Section 2 Part B. Let's use AP Precalculus as an example. And here is an example of a Part A question in Blue Book. For this question, Question 1, and all other questions in the section, find the page in the booklet and the part within the question to write your answer or solution. When time runs out for Part A, Part B will begin after a short pause. Once Part B starts, you won't be able to return to Part A. And here is an example of a Part B question in Blue Book. Remember, calculators are prohibited when answering Part B questions. A banner across the top of the exam booklet page restates this requirement. For the AP Physics exams, each free response section consists of four questions. Be sure to follow the directions in Blue Book for both the version and the page number. Some questions have different versions, and for these, you must write your answer on a specific page in the exam booklet. Let's use AP Physics 1 as an example. In this example, you are answering version K. Flip to the corresponding free response booklet page number, page 4 in this case, and write your answer or solution to the question. For all of the hybrid digital AP exams we just reviewed, when the timer expires at the end of Section 2, a screen will appear indicating that your Section 1 multiple choice answers are being submitted automatically. And you'll see a final screen confirming that your exam is complete. At that point, stop writing, place your exam booklet face down, and wait for the proctor's instructions to be dismissed. We hope this video has given you a sense of what it will be like to take a hybrid digital AP exam. To learn more, students and educators can access the digital experience and preview sample AP exam content for themselves by launching the Blue Book app, signing in with a College Board account, selecting the test preview card, and choosing one of the AP exams to preview. To download sample booklets of each subject, see cb.org slash AP dash digital dash hybrid. Thank you for your interest in digital AP exams. Best wishes for a great school year and good luck with your AP exam.